like some kind of detonator. Why would they give us the detonator to our own bomb? <clears throat> Tonight you're all gonna be a part of a social experiment. I'm ready right now to blow you all sky high. Liberty, come in, over. It's dead. Anyone attempts to get off their boat, you all die. Each of you has a remote. Blow up the other boat. At midnight, I blow you all up. If, however, one of you presses the button, I'll let that boat live. So, who's it gonna be? Harvey Dent's most wanted scumbag collection, or the sweet and innocent civilians? You choose. Oh, and you might want to decide quickly, because the people on the other boat may not be quite so noble. The boat scene in The Dark Knight is a great example of game theory. Specifically, it's an example of the prisoner's dilemma, a situation in which each of two parties would be better off cooperating with the other, but each is also tempted to betray, and so they end up in a situation where both betray each other. I'm not going to explain The Prisoner's Dilemma. If you haven't heard of it yet, you should watch my video, which is linked here. Uh, right now, I'm going to explain why the boat scene is a prisoner's dilemma and why each boat is tempted to detonate the bomb on the other boat. The rules the Joker has set up are as follows. He says that if both boats try and cooperate and don't blow the other one up, then he's going to take matters into his own hand and blow everyone up at midnight. However, he is going to offer them a chance to survive. If exactly one boat detonates the bomb, then he'll let that boat live. And the final situation is that if both boats detonate the bomb, then obviously both boats are going to be blown up. We can think about the payoffs in terms of a game theory matrix. We have two boats, boat one and boat two, that can either cooperate or detonate the bomb. If they both detonate the bomb, then they both end up blown up. If only one boat detonates the bomb, then that boat gets to survive while the other boat gets blown up. And in some ways this is worse. The boat that tried to cooperate feels like a fool for doing that. Uh, the final situation is if both boats cooperate. Now they still end up being blown up by the Joker, but in some ways this is best for the group because it shows that neither was willing to kill the other. However, as we can see from these uh from the payouts, if boat two no matter what boat two does, it's clearly better for boat one to detonate the bomb. And similarly, no matter what boat one does, it's better for boat two to detonate the bomb. So both boats are tempted to detonate the bomb. And this is the outcome that the Joker wants to achieve. As we see in The Dark Knight, neither boat was willing to detonate the bomb and kill the other boat. So it turned out that the Joker did miscalculate the goodness of people. And in this situation, the prisoner's dilemma can be beaten. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, or on Twitter at Press Shawwalker, or get my books at Amazon.